guys I'm back today with a tutorial for you on how to put together the 3d um, embellishment book from scrap David designs from the new August release um, there are two pages um, to the die set so I just kind of wanted to break it down and show you guys so you wouldn't be intimidated by um, you know all these different pieces okay first stuff let me tell you basically you need the three dies to make the box okay to make the book okay you have two of these ones for the front cover and the ones for the back cover this is for the spine and then two you cut two of these to put together to make the box inside okay that's all you that's all you you know, basically do to build, okay, to build the box. The next thing that you have are all of these little pieces, okay. Now these are all stitched, and so these are all layering pieces. So layering piece for the front and back. We've got layering piece for the spine. Layering piece for the uh, sides of the box. Layering piece for the um, other side of the box that's thinner. Layering piece for the end of the box. Okay, and then you also have these two little um, decorative, this is a decorative piece here. And then this one, um, I'm thinking it's, if I remember it's a layer layering piece for like the bottom. Of, maybe the top, I can't remember exactly which one that one is. Um, and then it also comes with three words, which is made with love. The love is over here on this other sheet. So it comes with those three words, and they have the shadow piece. Okay, and then they also come with this gorgeous flowers. So there are four of each size, and there's three sizes. So you can cut, you can make, if you layer all three pieces, you can make four flowers at a time. And then it also comes with this really pretty leaf, which I was excited about because I don't have very many of the regular flower type leaves. So, and I would imagine I could probably just, you know, if I didn't want this shape, I could always just, you know, trim this off and cut two or just one and stick them wherever I wanted to stick them. Okay, so, oops, spilled all those. So that is also part of the die set. So with the die set, you're getting not only, let me pick up these pieces before I lose them. So you not only get the box and all the layering pieces, but you get those three words, and then you also get that really nice, these really nice set of flowers and leaves. So that is a big plus. Okay, so let's take the pieces. So I cut out um, my base in 110 pound white cardstock. Um, I almost always use 110 pound cardstock for my base of anything that's 3D just because I want it to be sturdy, okay? So I cut out two of these. I got one here and one over here, so it's all the white pieces that you're gonna see. Okay, this one, this one, and then I cut out, this is for the actual box, so I cut out two of those, okay? And then one of this one that I showed you, which is for the spine, okay? So let's put these together real quick. I was gonna put it all together and lay, I mean, just like layer it and stuff first and then um, put it together with you. But then I decided, no, let's do it from the beginning so that, um, you know, sometimes you just need to have it each step by step. And hopefully I don't make any mistakes here while I'm, <laughs> while I'm doing it. I, I haven't even put this together yet. So this is my first time. So what I'm gonna do is, um, this is my uh, my spine part, okay? So I've already folded it on the score lines and now I'm going to um, put some glue on here and I'm gonna attach, you know, right here first. That's my first step. I'm going to be using liquid glue, which is from Barely Arts. I just have it in a little small bottle, but it is barely arts. So I'm gonna attach that one, line it up, and I'm gonna turn it over actually so I make sure I can see on the crease. 
if I have it lined up good. Okay. Okay, I think that's going to be good. Make sure it folds good and it's not like skeewampus <laughs> or anything. Okay. I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of burnish it down. Makes it stick. So, I've been kind of absent all week. Just got back from vacation. We um, took our boat and our camper up camping and we we're there about five days, I guess. So, super fun. Loved it. Had a great time. So, I just got back and it's like, oh, I gotta hurry up and make some stuff. <laughs> before I left, I only got a chance to make a couple things before I left. and So, now I'm behind the curve. So, gotta get caught up. Okay, so there's... So, here's basically the book. Okay? So... Let me finish this in again. Get this to be sickened down. Okay, so now I'm going to take my layering pieces. So that's what I showed you. These have the, the layering pieces and it has the stitching all the way around. So really nice. So I'm gonna use this one. Uh, the, by the way, the paper collection I am using is the new Maggie Holmes Forever Fields. So I am gonna take these and attach these right here. These are my layering pieces. So we'll just put a little bit of liquid glue all around the edges. You can use double-sided tape, whatever you want. So I'm going to get this lined up. Okay. So has everybody been having a good summer? I hope so. I say we just got back from celebrating my granddaughter's birthday with the camping and boating trip. <laughs> it was so much fun. So let's see which way is this the same way yes okay so let's take this other side and do this side now. okay and then just kind of eyeball that so it looks even between all the it has that little white border around Okay, and then I'm going to take, let's see, is this the one? No. It must be. Which one is it? Hopefully I didn't forget to cut it. Must be one of these. Yeah. Okay, so I must have meant it to be this color. Yeah, that's the color I meant it to be. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get the trailer all unloaded and the boat unloaded and do laundry and <laughs> catch up on the yard work from being gone for a week and unload all the food and <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. So I've been busy, busy, busy. Okay, so there's all my three parts for my inside. I'm going to flip it over now. And I decided that I wanted these, this color for the outside of my book, just because, um, you know, I usually end up decorating it so much that I wanted, you know, not too busy of a pattern on the front. So I went with this gorgeous stripe that I, I love it, this thin little stripe. It's so cute. So I went with that lined up there so we're just going to put that on again these are all just layering pieces so um you know like i say the basic <laughs> you have those basic three dies just to put 
the basic together and then all the rest is just layering and decorating okay so don't feel intimidated at all but it's going to be a great die set to have because you know we always want to send out happy mail we want to compete in swaps and challenges and this is so appropriate to be able to um you know like to enter a swap and this be your packaging um, or if you just want to send somebody you know like in a birthday challenge or something like that fun way to send a bunch of goodies that up okay so now my outside is covered and my inside is covered okay next thing I'm gonna do is put together this cute little box I'm deciding whether I should put the layering pieces on before I build the box it'll be easier um, I think I will just because yeah it'll be easier to do that Make sure I get these lined up the right way. Let me make sure. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna build it and then add the pieces, just because it might get a little tricky, and especially if you're using like some um, dimensional paper or something like that. You're going to want to make sure you have it the right direction all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and do it do the box first and then i'll just do the layering pieces on it next <clears throat> okay so this oh, <laughs> watch me put it together wrong <clears throat> on camera So it's just gonna hit here. And like I said, <laughs> this is my first one. I haven't, I haven't even put one together yet. I just cut this out and decided let's do a tutorial. So hopefully, I don't make too many mistakes putting it together, so you guys can see. So here's your box. Is that going to be right? Just go with this. Um, hang on, hang on. Am I messing it up? Because the box is supposed to go in here like this. I could be messing it up. I could be, I could be. I think it's got to go this way to fit in there, I believe. Because <clears throat> this way is going to be too big. So it's got to have these two here. That. Okay. All right. Let's put this, some glue on this one again. Like that. Let's put this right here and get this glued down. Now, I ha I've seen all kinds of different, um, I've seen some various, I haven't seen very many videos because they've been gone and haven't had any cell service, so I haven't seen very much, but I, since I've been home, I have um, seen one or two videos and people are, you know, on the design team are making it um, a little different. Um, but I thought I would put it together the um, just kind of like the way it was intended first, and then you can always go crazy and you know put it, add some boxes and pockets and you know add more boxes and more pockets and that kind of stuff. So I got those two together right there. I 
finger in there and get that down. Okay, now I just need a little glue in here. I'm just gonna, I could have done this before, but I didn't. I'm just gonna stick the bottle in there now, the tip in there, and just get it going. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Okay, so then the box is gonna sit right here, like this. Okay, yep. Okay, so we don't really need anything on this side because it's gonna be against the spine. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it to the box. It might have been easier for me to do it, to do the layering pieces beforehand, but we'll just have to go with it. Now that I already started. <laughs> okay, so we got that lined up with the bottom. See that? Lined up there with the bottom. Press it down, so glue's good. Okay, now I did, I did layering pieces for the outside and the inside of the box. So I want my outside pieces to have this strawberry one on. So let's go ahead and put the strawberry side out on the outside of the box. Again with the liquid glue. Okay. And then we're just gonna center it between my white right here. Okay. All right, one side. Let's go this way and do the other side. say center it so you have a, the nice little white border equally around <laughs> the best you can sometimes you get stuck before you're ready okay just gonna kind of press on the inside too to get this tacked down okay now I have the end piece which is this right here so let's Okay, so that's just going to fit right here on this end. Okay. Okay, and now <clears throat> this thinner one is going to be the layering piece for the bottom. Okay. So there's the bottom, both sides and the end. Okay, and now I'm ready for the inside. So this little bit uh, wider piece is the ones that are gonna go on the inside. And it looks like I must have cut these. So the strawberry would show on the inside also, that's right. So, so remember that when you cut your pieces as far as like directions and you know, like directional paper, that kind of stuff. How you want things to appear. Alright, so let's just kind of get that in there. This would have been way easier before I put it together, but we can still do it. Okay. Put that in there, like that. Okay, and then we need the other fairly wider piece. It's going to be for the other inside of the box. Okay, here we go. Stick that down in there. Do it to the side so I can see a little bit. Come on, come on. Okay. 
Okay, so there's both my sides. Okay, I have another, um, let's see, do I have two of these? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I got a little piece for right here. So let's cover the inside of it. Okay, put that down in there. Okay, and then this piece, this thinner piece, down there on the bottom. Okay. This piece here would have been way easier. <laughs> Try and get it up best I can. And if I don't, oh, it's okay. It'll be the bottom where stuff's going to be anyway. Sticking down. Let's see if I can get it peeled up enough to slide it just a bit. Okay, start again. Start again. So there's my bottom line. So now all of my inside and my outside, everything is lined. My book is ready. Okay. <clears throat> it gives you a little bit of space. Put my needle back in before this dries out. Okay, so it gives you a little bit of space. See, so when you close it up even, you have like a little bit of room in there. So you can decorate these insides of these pages and it still gives you room so it's not going to be like super super wide because see gives you a little bit more space there now you can um, just wrap something around it to close it you know if I um, want I could put the you know like some ribbon up between the pages but of course you'd want to do that before you you know um, put all your layers on but that's another way you could attach something um, and then uh, you're ready to decorate and put some goodies in now i thought i'd probably i put together some of these couple of these flowers for you so this is what they look like put together this is one of each size um so there's three layers here and these ones i curved to kind of make make their flower a little bit cupped and then these two i um kind of formed them to be you know more like the petals going down so you get a couple different looks here depending on which way you put you know which way you I take my little tool and you know, I rub over you know, like that on my on my foam so I'll probably put these like on you know a, a sheet and then put them in a plastic and then you know add these like I could add the flowers in I could cut out some of the words and add those in plus I can use them to, to decorate now I should tell you too I have seen a couple of videos I mentioned that that um, I saw one person I think it was Melissa no Marissa the pink ape she made um, she made one with a box um, she put her box instead of flat out here she put her box along here and then she'd made another box and she put it along here so that when you close it you have a box here and here and so it's just like this would be filled in with a box too when you close it so it just like, like one you know piece um, you can add pockets. She added a pocket on each side. You know, there's all number of things you could do. Somebody I saw, I think, putting a lid on it. So it just, whatever, you know, that's just, just kind of the basic. And you add on and do whatever it is you want to do and make it, make it yours. So super fun and easy dye. Like I said, when you first get this in your two sheets and you see all these different dyes, you get a little overwhelmed and you're like, okay, what is all this? How do I put it together? But super, super easy because for the base 
to make the actual box piece, you know, you just start with these three pieces. And that's all you really need. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them for me down below. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys were subscribed to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.